Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com, and I thought I would show you how I create cards using digital elements. The elements I'm using today is Echo Park Apothecary. Draw a square, and it doesn't matter what size because I just click on it and go to the scale window, and I type in, this is going to be an A2 standard size card, which is a half a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cut in half. So it's going to be 5 by 5 by 4.25 and apply. Okay, amazing and how I keep everything uh, is in proportion, I guess is the word. Okay, the, normally what I do is leave my card base plain and then uh, go in a little bit, just a slight bit to do a mat uh, for my base layer. So I'm going to go up to the offset menu up here and do an internal offset. And I want it to be just a little bit bigger. And hit apply. Okay, so this will be the first matted layer on top. We'll go with this orange. Try that. Again, I'm just dragging it over and replacing what is there. I'm going to scale that pattern just a little bit. I think I like it about right there. Okay, next I want to decide kind of a an idea of a layout and I had thought maybe I would do a bracket or a something hmm, maybe like this. So I'm going to open this ungroup. And this is the one I want. I'm going to delete the rest. And maybe I'll just use half of that. So what I'm going to do is draw a square, put it on top, select a square, select the shape, go up to the modify window and hit subtract. Okay, so now I have just this shape and I'm going to pick a paper to fill it with. I was thinking of like a ledger paper. I don't know if there's one in this collection or not. I don't see one, but let's try this one. Drop it. Okay, that's cute. Alright, so that piece will fit. Um, let's see, I have another idea. Never mind. I'm going to go with a rounded rectangle. To give it a little bit more flavor. And again, I'm just using the box up here to keep everything sized correctly. And I think we'll try maybe this black and white or cream polka dot. So that piece will fit like that, and then that will be peeking out from under it. I might pull this out, scale it a little bigger. No, I think I'm going to change this background paper. Something else. Change this shape to something other than polka dots so it shows up a little bit more. Now we can go with one of these black. Size that a little bit. And I'm still thinking we need a little bit something else back there. Send that backward.
All right, and then I'm thinking maybe a small strip of scallop sticking out from under there. So to make that, I am going to draw a rectangle from here, small circle, and put it about right there. And I'm holding my Alt key. I'm going to click on the circle, make another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And you can do this faster by selecting two or three at a time and copying it, but. And one more, and I'm going to put that right all the way to the bottom where I want it to start. Put this one where I want it to start. And then I'm going to select all the circles. And I'm going to go up to the alignment window and align left so that they are all the same. And then I'm going to put space vertically. And that will spread them all out. And see how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to select the entire rectangle and all the circles and I'm going to go to the modify whoops modify window and hit weld and now I have a scallop and I'm going to fill this scallop with um, I'm thinking we need some orange in there I'm going to use part of this orange paper okay so there we have our scallop And that's it. I'm going to cut out because I'm just going to use a flat piece of cardstock as my base. So just have to fit these within the printable area. That looks pretty good. And I need to check and see where my cut lines are. That's everything there. Just need to choose cut edge. Choose this one, cut edge. Choose this one, cut edge. Choose this one. This one. This one I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to have to trace that. So back the trace window, select trace area, and I think I'm going to have this cut so it has just a little bit of white around it. I'm going to turn off the high pass filter, turn the threshold up, trace outer edge, and then I'm going to choose that outer edge, go to the offset window, offset, turn that down, and that will be the edge that I want cut. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm going to print this out and I will assemble it and I'll be back with you in a moment. Thanks!